Hi Taurus, this is a general love reading for July 2021 for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And it is general, so it's not going to be for everybody's situation, but you can check out one of your other signs if you want, or you can book a personal reading for which all the information is in the description box. And the roles can be reversed because it is a general reading. All right, Taurus, let's see what is going on for you in a love connection. First half of July, 2021. What is going on with Taurus? First half of July, we just had the 10 of cups flip over. All right, so definitely a very strong connection here that you're feeling a lot of love for. We're just really trying to find happiness within this connection. Okay, Taurus, for the, oh, the lovers, the situation, we have the lovers crossed by the seven of cups. All right, yeah, so there's definitely a love connection here that you're feeling a lot of emotions for. Um, you're feeling that this is a very, very strong connection. I feel like you just don't know how to get that or how to get there which way to go there's something that is confusing you about this situation and about how to find find a way of making this really work so this could be you this could be your person we will see for the recent past we have the two of wands for the near future we have the four of cups so it feels like yeah there's been a lot of stalling a lot of maybe procrastination in the past We'll see what this Four of Cups is when we clarify. Let's take a look at your energy here. We have the Nine of Swords. For them, we have the King of Wands. More about you is the Queen of Cups. For them, the Ace of Swords. And the potential outcome here is the Knight of Cups. All right. So you're, you're undergoing a lot of stress. There's a lot of anxiety. There's something here. There, you could be overthinking things possibly, especially with the Seven of Cups being here. Um, just thinking about too many things all at once. You definitely, like I said, you have a lot of emotions here. And I feel like your intuition is trying to tell you something and it's just a matter of you actually following that and really listening to your heart here. We'll see more when we clarify. Um, for them, with the King of Wands, this is, uh, first of all, you could be dealing with um, a fire sign possibly. I feel like this is somebody who holds a lot of passion for you, somebody who really wants to make things work, who really wants to overcome whatever obstacles might be present in this connection. Okay, and I feel like this is somebody who is willing to take a lot of action in order to do that. And I do see something coming through here, all right, with that Knight of Cups. Definitely moving towards love or somebody moving towards you, it depends, because I'm, I'm actually kind of seeing you as being the one possibly holding back here. I don't know. We'll see when we clarify. So let's see what is going on. Let's clarify the lovers with the Seven of Cups. Again, the roles definitely can be reversed. Please keep that in mind. We have the world and we have the queen of wands. I feel like there's a cycle here that needs to close out. And I feel like that could be what the challenge is here. Um, for some of you, it could be that there are options possibly for you. And you might be having a hard time really just um, coming down to which option you should take. It could be two different situations here, like two different people. For others of you, it's not necessarily that. It could just be, you know, what option should I take when it comes to moving towards what is going to bring me love, when it comes toward to moving towards a specific 
connection here. And I feel like the issue is really being able to find that sense of confidence and assertiveness within your own self, but at the same time needing to needing to close something out, needing to end something in order to move in that direction. And it could be that this is what is um, holding you back or what is causing this, this stalling. Possibly some procrastination. Um, it could be that there's a lot of distractions as well. Other things happening um, that are keeping you from doing that. Again, maybe this could be your person and not necessarily you. Let's see the Nine of Swords for your energy. The Eight of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, and the Ten of Cups. You really have this desire to work towards towards finding love, towards finding that happiness. There's definitely a connection here that you're longing for, um, that you know would make you happy. You feel this deep in your heart. But it's like you don't know how to what it is that you should be doing in order to move towards that where to focus your energy and it it's coming through as possibly um, being distracted and focusing or giving your energy to a different situation to something else for some of you it could even be um, focusing too much on work because that helps to serve as a distraction See the Queen of Cups. And for others of you, it might be that you're you're not really sure as to whether this other person would be willing to to like you know work with you on this. Your, your energy is feeling a little complicated this time around, Taurus. All right, so clarifying the Queen of Cups, we have Temperance and we have the Wheel of Fortune. Again, I, your intuition is speaking to you, and I feel like you're just kind of going with the flow, like in a way where you're not really... Um, you're not really taking charge and I, I I don't necessarily see that as a bad thing I feel like you're just kind of letting things happen as they want to happen um, and I feel like that's actually a good thing on the one hand but on the other hand you know make sure that you're not ignoring your intuition don't rather than just sitting there passively just waiting for the wheel to turn waiting for fate to just you know bring you that ten of cups I mean, I do see you thinking about how you should work towards that, but at the same time, I feel like you're kind of just letting fate happen when actually I feel like your intuition is telling you that, you know, you too need to do something here, well, even if that something is, to, is just to heal something within yourself, even if that something means to just um, find some kind of a balance within yourself. So I feel like, you know, the like the intention is there. Like this is what you want to do because you're thinking a lot about what it is that you should do. But you you might be feeling so overwhelmed that you don't really end up um, doing anything, <laughs> to, to put it bluntly. Um, and that doesn't mean that you won't. It doesn't mean that you won't, you de because you definitely can, and you are in control here. I feel like you just need that little bit of a push, you know, to just kind of push yourself to get out of that crazy headspace, that crazy stress, and actually 
just give, you know, even if it's just one little millimeter of an effort more than what than what you have been. And I feel like that little bit will actually go a long way. Again, roles can be reversed. Let's see what's going on with this person. Let's see the King of Wands. Alright, the Seven of Wands, the Two of Swords, and the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, interesting. So there's um, some mixed energies here with this person because this person really wants to overcome um, obstacles. Like I said before, they they have a lot of passion for you, but I feel like they might be um, blocking you out a little bit, kind of keeping their distance, and they're doing that as a means of either protecting themselves, protecting you, protecting the connection, possibly just giving you space because I do see them wanting a commitment here. They're wanting this Ten of Pentacles with you. That is, that's definitely in their energy here. They, they're seeing you in a very um, serious way, as in not wanting to play you, not wanting just to fling, not wanting to just mess around. This is somebody who really takes this connection seriously. Um, but I feel like they don't really know what is going on with you. They, they feel like... There's some kind of a clashing here between the two of you, between your energies. And because of that, they're being a little bit defensive. But not that they wouldn't be willing to work with you. Um, I feel like it might just be your, your um, energy that is keeping them at a distance. Let's see the Ace of Swords. King of Pentacles and the Hanged Man. Yeah, so again, you know, this is somebody who really is, I feel like their intentions are very pure. This is somebody, again, showing up here as, I mean, they have two kings. All right, this is somebody who is very um, serious about you, who really wants something um, stable, consistent. They want longevity with you. But again, they're holding back. They want to take action. This is somebody who wants to speak to you, who wants to, to um, work with you, take action, speak their truth. But again, they're holding back. And again, I feel like it's because of the energy that you might be um, giving out because I feel like you're the one who might not be sure as to what exactly it is that you want to do or how you want to move ahead or what choice you want to make or... There's just, it just feels like there's some kind of confusion on your end. Let's see the Four of Cups. Which is for the near future. We have the Six of Cups and we have the Ten of Wands. It feels like there's some kind of a, uh, you might feel some kind of a disappointment. And I actually feel like this is in relation to you feeling like this, like this connection is missing. And you know, maybe it's not even a specific person. Maybe you're not sure who this person is for some of you. For most of you, I feel like you do know. I feel like it is a very specific person and you know exactly who that is. Um, and for others of you, it could be that, yeah, you know, this might be a different person than this one. It really, it really depends. But I feel like there is a little bit of disappointment coming up because you really want this connection in your life and it's going to feel like it is missing. And that's okay because, you know, that is that might help you to really make that discernment for what it is that you want to do and finally release that burden that you've been feeling or a burden that you've been carrying.
Let's see the Knight of Cups for the potential outcome. Alright, so we have the Knight of Cups again. The Four of Wands. The Knight of Wands and the Five of Pentacles. So there is movement here, okay? We have two knights, and especially a knight of wands. This is this is like physical movement, and I do feel like that movement is towards a connection, okay? Towards finding that stability, um, following your heart to lead you to that, to a connection that's going to feel like home, to, a connection that's going to feel like this is where you belong. But along with that, Along with that, I feel like there is going to be also um, a sense of having to leave something else. You might feel like you are abandoning something else in order for that to happen. Again, it could be that this is your person coming in, but I'm, again, I just feel like this is you moving in that direction. And yeah, you know, sometimes in order to achieve a specific result, we have to let go of something else. And so I feel like maybe that is why you have been um, procrastinating. It's kind of hard to let something else go or you might just feel like there is some kind of a loss at the same time. Which is very interesting. I'm trying to figure out what that could be. Um, so if you feel like that is your situation, please do let me know. Um, but I do feel like, yeah, you know, for, and for a lot of you, maybe it's a financial issue. All right, Taurus. If this resonated, let's get the final oracle message for you. All right, and we have the new moon in Aries. It's time to take action. Yeah, and I feel like that is one of the messages that definitely came through the reading here, all right? It's time to take action. Follow your intuition. It's definitely telling you to do something, and that action could be, could be anything, whatever it is that you are feeling guided towards, all right? So I'm going to leave it at that. Those were the messages for you, Taurus. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.